there you have it. Super flexible battery. Mm. For battery pack to flex, it needs to have a flexible joint in between cells, like this one. So it's got plenty of flex, and it is achieved through the use of this sponge window seal and some hot glue. Later, all of this will be reinforced with some electrical tape. The connection between the cells will be a silicone wire that's highly flexible.
start with the balance cable first. It's this cable. This is a 10 cell or 10 cells in series battery. This is a 10 cable balance cable. Each cell, one through 10, will get one cable soldered onto it. All the cables will be soldered onto the positive terminal of each cell. Cell one positive, cell two positive, and etc. Each BMS might be slightly different. So look over the diagram that comes with it or that is available online when you purchase the BMS. Just to check your work, most of the BMS balance cable plug-in spots will also have labeled terminals where they go. May not be visible with this camera, I cannot focus, but it's B1 positive, B2 positive, and so on. So let's solder this stuff in. Balance cable has been soldered in. Always check your work afterwards. Make sure it's soldered in properly and all the cells are connected in series according to the wire numbers. To start out, connect your bridge at the end of the battery between cells, between cells five and six, connect that bridge. So now the bridge is connected, everything should be on, battery is hot. Right, let's check your work. Start with your battery positive and negative. Negative. Okay, 41.5 volts, that's a good sign. Now let's, let's check individual cells. To do that, leave your negative probe plugged in in battery negative, right here. It goes to one negative. And then check the balance cable, starting from cable, that goes to cell one, which is for me, it's the black cable, all the way on the right side. So as we check them, the voltages should stuck in about numbers of four. So four, eight, 12, 16, you get it. So cell one, four. 2, 8, 3, 12, 4, 16, 5, 20, 6, 24, 7, 29, 8, 33, 9, 37, and last self, 10, 41.2. All right, it's legit. And also, the insulation is not done on the battery. I'll keep on insulating it. But we still remain the flexible design even after the balance cables have been attached. Now let's connect the rest of the BMS to the battery. We're gonna work from the charging outlet to make this easier to understand. In my case, I'm gonna be using an XT60 male for a charging port. Connect a negative cable to a port and then to, to a BMS. On this BMS board, this whole hole right here says, says TH negative, so charger negative. So this cable that you just soldered in will go to charger negative from your charger here. So let's do that next. We 
we just took care of negative side of the charging port and it goes to charge it goes to bms ch negative next let's take take care of the positive side of the charging port port and positive side goes to directly to the battery positive terminal or the overall positive terminal of the battery should be on cell 10 for the 10s battery so let's get that soldered in Give it a light tug. Test to work. All good. Charger is taken care of. Last soldering spot to complete the charging circuit is this little guy in the bottom left corner. That's battery negative. So it's negative terminal of the entire battery. Goes directly from cell one negative to this spot. And it. boom, sent. This setup is for charge only. It does not discharge through this circuit. It discharges directly through the positive and negative terminals. I think that's the best way to do it. Let's finish insulating this battery. Mm -hmm.